Hey guys! In this video, we will be looking at how to integrate the three most common types of proxies into our Python requests based web scraper. This guide is part of the Python web scraping playbook by ScrapeOps. A few things before we get started. Using proxies with the Python requests library allows you to spread your requests over multiple IP addresses making it harder for websites to detect and block your web scrapers. In this guide, we will walk you through the three most common proxy integration methods and show you how to use them with Python requests. In this video, we go through using proxy IPs with Python requests, proxy authentication with Python requests, using proxies with request sessions, and then the three most common proxy formats. Also, if you would like to know how to integrate proxies into your Python Scrapey scrapers, then check out our Scrapey proxies guide. First, we will look at using proxy IPs with Python requests. Using a proxy with Python requests is very straightforward. We simply need to create a proxies dictionary and pass it into the proxies attribute of our Python requests request. This method will work for all request methods that Python requests supports, such as get, post, put, delete, patch, and head. Next, we will look at proxy authentication. Some proxy IPs require authentication in the form of a username and password in order to use the proxy. To authenticate to the proxy, you have two options. The first option is to simply add the username and password to the proxy strings. And the second option is to authenticate the proxy by adding your username and password to the auth parameter. Next, we will look at using proxies with requests sessions. If you are using Python request sessions functionality, then you will need to add your proxy in a slightly different way. The session object allows you to persist certain parameters across requests. It also persists cookies across all requests made from the session instance, and will use URL lib 3's connection pooling. So if you're making several requests to the same host, the underlying TCP connection will be reused, which can result in a significant performance increase. Instead of defining the proxies in our requests.get call, as we did previously, we will instead initialize our requests session object and then set it to use our proxies. To authenticate our proxy, we can either add the username and password to the proxy strings, like we did before, or pass username and password to the auth parameter and add the authentication to the session object. When using Python requests session functionality with a proxy, the proxy IP address that you're setting remains constant, unless you're using a proxy gateway that manages the proxy rotation on their end. If you're using a single static proxy IP with the sessions functionality, then the proxy might get blocked, as every request will be using it. So that covered the basics of integrating a proxy into Python requests. In the next sections, we will show you how to integrate Python requests into the three most common proxy formats. Rotating through a list of proxy IPs, using proxy gateways, and using proxy APIs. If you are looking to find a good proxy provider, then check out our web scraping proxy comparison tool, where you can compare the plans of all the major proxy providers. A couple years ago, 
proxy providers would sell you a list of proxy IP addresses, and you would configure your scraper to rotate through these IP addresses and use a new one with each request. However, today more and more proxy providers don't sell raw lists of proxy IP addresses anymore. Instead, they are providing access to their proxy pools via gateways or API endpoints. We will look at how to integrate with all three proxy formats. First, we look at rotating through a proxy IP list. The first method of proxy integration is rotating through a proxy IP address list. In this situation, a proxy provider will normally provide you with a list of proxy IP addresses that you will need to configure your scraper to rotate through and select a new IP address for every request. The proxy list you receive will look something like this. To integrate these into our scrapers, we need to configure our code to pick a random proxy from this list every time we make a request. In our Python requests scraper, we could do it by first storing our proxies in a list. Let's say we have four proxies in the list. Then we generate a random integer between zero and three, and we can use the proxy address at that index in the list. Now this is a simplistic example, because when we are scraping at scale, we would also need to build a mechanism to monitor the performance of each individual IP address and remove it from the proxy rotation if it got banned or blocked. The second method is using a proxy gateway. Increasingly, a lot of proxy providers aren't selling lists of proxy IP addresses anymore. Instead, they give you access to their proxy pools via a proxy gateway. Here, you only have to integrate a single proxy into your Python requests scraper, and the proxy provider will manage the proxy rotation, selection, cleaning, etc. on their end for you. This is the most common way to use residential and mobile proxies, and it's becoming increasingly common when using data center proxies too. Here is an example of how to integrate Bright Data's residential proxy gateway into our Python requests scraper. As you can see, it's much easier to integrate than using a proxy list, as you don't have to worry about implementing all the proxy rotation logic. The third method is using an API endpoint. Recently, a lot of proxy providers have started offering smart proxy APIs that take care of managing your proxy infrastructure for you by rotating proxies and headers so you can focus on extracting the data you need. Here, you typically send the URL that you want to scrape to their API endpoint, and then they will return the HTML response back to you. Although every API provider has a slightly different API integration, they are all very similar and very easy to integrate with. So here's an example of how to integrate with ScrapeOps Proxy Manager. Here you simply send the URL that you want to scrape to the ScrapeOps API endpoint in the URL query parameter, along with your API key in the API query parameter and ScrapeOps will deal with finding the best, best proxy for that domain and return the HTML response to you. You can actually get your own free API key with 1,000 free requests by signing up here. Also note that when using proxy API endpoints, it is very important to encode the URL that you want to scrape before sending it to the proxy API endpoint. To encode your URL, you just need to use Python's URL encode function. So that is how you can integrate proxies into your Python requests scrapers. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. 
make sure you check out the ScrapeOps YouTube channel. And if you would like to learn more about web scraping, then be sure to check out the Python web scraping playbook at scrapeops.io forward slash python dash web dash scraping dash playbook.